hey everyone it's queen of light eleven eleven here with your post full moon report uh we got a lot of cards on the table as usual um and i want to get through these quickly so just a couple of announcements first thing is um i've opened up an amazon storefront because a lot of you are always asking hey queen of light like tell us a little bit more about yourself what are your favorite decks what are the things that you like and so um, I just went ahead and I created a um, platform on Amazon with links to all of the different decks that I use. And it also has the names and the type of decks. Some even have notes about why I love these tarot decks. I've also included things like this tapestry here that's hanging on my wall and different, you know, um, tapestries that I like to put on my table as part of my YouTube readings. So I've got a lot of different things that you guys ask me about. And so I've included uh, most all of the um, tarot decks that I use and own. I've also included all the little special things that I use as a part of my practice. Um, and so go ahead and take a look and I'm going to constantly be updating these things. And so as I see a new deck or as I see something you know, within a crystal or whatever, I will go ahead and add that to my storefront. So if you guys are interested in learning more about me and the things that I like and the things that I use, then uh, click on the link in the, descri the description box and it will take you to uh, my Amazon page, um, Queen of Light 1111. And please click follow so that you can um, go ahead and be updated when I add new items to um, the list, okay? The other thing is, one to let you guys know, if you want to book your own private reading, go to queenoflight1111.com. Um, the link to my website is also here in the description box. And then lastly, if you're not following me on Instagram, I do post readings there on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, so go ahead and follow me there at Queen of Light 1111. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I've got a lot to talk about today. So I'm um, not going to be able to reach all the way to the end. Um, and I do think that I want to give messages at the very, very end. I want to get through the reading first. Okay, so what we have for our Divine Masculine in his overall energy is he's in the two of swords energy so that's where he's kind of pulled away from the fight kind of going within you know going into his higher self and healing right he's in the state of healing and so his first card out for his overall energy remember his bottom of the deck is the two of swords and then also his just so you know his clarifier um is the king of wands he's you know going within He's kind of going within within to listen to his intuition more, listen to his inner self more, his higher self more. He's connecting um, and he's healing. And so, you know, through that healing, he is starting to also embody this King of Wands energy where he's trying to figure out how he wants to move forward and what action he wants to take as the King of Wands is my action king. So I will tell you that our divine masculine in today's reading is the King of Wands. And he is the king of pentacles and our divine feminine is the queen of wands and the empress okay and remember for me the empress is every queen she's every queen so what do we have in his overall energy bottom of the decks the two of sword first card out is the page of swords so you know there's this is like observation this is like he could be observing you but this is also a card of you know maybe some delayed communication so maybe there was some communication and then it kind of you know halted for a little bit and so this is you know again he may be watching thinking about how what kind of step he wants to take forward because he's gone within but remember he's still a king he's still a king and he's trying to figure out the highest vibration of himself and what is the best move to make towards his feminine so he's in this period of observation and he's while he is observing while he is in this delay he is healing temperance and so he's a little guarded 
about any new beginning with this fool's energy towards his queen of pentacles at this time. Okay, his queen of pentacles, when I clarified what that energy was, four of wands. So he knows, he's gone within, he knows he wants union, he knows he wants a new beginning, he knows he needs to heal, so he's just guarded about his next steps and he's really trying to figure out what is the step that is going to lead to success with his divine feminine, our queen of pentacles, queen of wands okay and so his last card in his overall energy is he's really thinking about the long term so he's kind of delayed communication he's observing he's kind of holding on he's a little guarded about a new beginning he knows he wants union with his divine feminine and he knows that he wants her for the long term all right so in our divine feminine's overall energy her bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles and so in the three of pentacles energy, that's about learning lessons. That's about, you know, can we work together as a team? You know, are we growing? And so um, her bottom of the deck is that three of pentacles. And then in her clarifier, she's got the two of pentacles. So there's an imbalance in the connection still, right? We're still balancing things out in this connection. Her first card for her overall energy is she feels a little stuck. She feels a little stuck. She feels like this connection is stuck. And so the clarifier set stuck energy is this union. She knows this reunion for to have this reunion that people need to heal the past. This is the six of cups. This is about past energy. This is about reflection. And so in order to move forward, things need to be healed. They are mirroring. So he's delayed. She's feeling stuck, but they're both healing. They're healing the past nine of wands. She hasn't given up. She has not given up on this connection, on this journey, because she's the queen of wands, okay? She's standing in her power. She's the queen of wands. She knows that, um, you know, she's fine with or without her masculine. The queen of wands is a very independent, fiery energy. And when I clarified what that energy was, it's justice. It's that, you know what? Things need to get balanced out. Apologies need to get made. Yes, we are in communication, but things are not quite balanced out just yet and so we're still we're not in union yet we're still in the separation but six of wands we know that we're going to be successful in moving forward why because we are both healing at this time we are both in our power we're both standing in our power we're both reflecting and understanding that in order to have success in this connection this time Justice must be served. Higher vibration moves must be made in a king's energy towards a feminine that is in her power. Where is our masculine in his headspace when he thinks about his feminine? What is he thinking when he thinks about his feminine? Well, here's what he's thinking. So before, so I have the before tarot out. The bottom of the deck is eight of pentacles. So before, you know, they were both just really working. Remember, we got the nine of pentacles a lot in their last reading. I forget if that was for Instagram or if that was my last YouTube reading, but we got the nine of pentacles a ton. And so they're just focusing on their money, on their pentacles. And so that's the before moon energy, okay? So what's the after moon energy? Two of pentacles things get balanced his head heart and 3d space seven of pentacles again he's pausing he's evaluating he wants to make sure he's going to make the right move for her her head heart and 3d space is the ten of pentacles she's still thinking about her long-term plan okay and he wants to make good steps towards this long-term plan ten of pentacles which he has Ten of Pentacles, which is the bottom of her deck. They both want each other for the long term because they have both realized that they are each other's match. He's got King of Pentacles to her Queen of Pentacles. He's got King of Wands to her Queen of Wands, okay? She's got Queen of Wands to his King of Wands. They know that they are, and then the King of Wands shows up again in here. So she knows that, you know, he is her person, and, she, and he knows that she is his person. So before the moon, three of cups, you know, it was like they were just starting to take steps to come together again. And I clarified that because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't third party. I did it anyway. Okay, guys, knight of wands. He wanted to move towards, you know, um, reunion. But what happened? What happened after the moon? He started feeling his heartbreak again. And so again, I had to clarify because I don't like three of cups, three of swords. So I clarified and I said, okay, what is this three of swords? King of pentacles. King of pentacles, our masculine, is heartbroken. I said another card. 
Three swords, heartbroken. Heartbroken over what? Lovers. Over this connection, okay? And then he wants, but he wants to move out of it. He wants to get out of this rough patch. And he wants to manifest the magician's energy, remember? Um, and the magician comes out in the current, action. He want, current connection. He wants to manifest the four of wands. So in his headspace, when he's thinking about her before the moon, he's like, okay, we're talking. Let me try to move forward. But this moon brought up some old feelings and some old pain. And he started to feel the pain of this connection again. Okay. And so that's why he became guarded towards his feminine. But he wants to get out of this patch. He wants to manifest union with his queen of pentacles, who is his match okay so what happens after in his headspace after he gets out of this rough patch to manifest his four of wands page of swords he starts to get out of this delay out of this observation and i said okay well I'll just clarify it and i got death and i was like okay so that's the end of the observation the end of the reflection because four of swords we have healed so what was going on with our feminine before um, and right now and what's going to happen after so remember the before energy they're both working on their money <clears throat> right now she's focused on the long term and then in the after things are getting balanced out so in the before moon okay before this moon she's thinking about this contract all right she already understands it but this is like is he vibing with his 5d self is he is he this is he really all of these kings? Is he? Is he the match to me as the high priestess? And so this is what was going on before the moon because he has been showing up in this higher vibration and she's kind of like, oh, are we really? Like, are we there? Is he there? And so now what, she, what is she thinking? Three of cups. She's like, yeah, I want to reunite with him. And I clarified that because we've got it here. Three of cups, three of cups. I said, let's just make sure that maybe she doesn't have a third party or that something doesn't come out here. And so we got two of swords matches the two of swords to his overall energy. And so that is, yes, there was this desire to come together, but we have both halted and gone, um, within again okay and so we are still in the separation five of pentacles matches uh matches his i'm sorry matches her overall energy uh that they're still in separation but she does know that they are going to be together that he is her emotional bliss but she's the queen of wands she needs justice she needs justice remember it's a clarifier to her queen of wands energy which is who she is which is who he is trying to be through all this action. Um, and so, you know, she's like, is he this high vibe king? All right, I wanted to come together, but we've halted again. We're still in separation, but I know he is my end game. Ten of pentacles, right? In her bottom of the deck, ten of cups in her headspace. I know he's the person I want to create this family with, but things need to get balanced out. Justice needs to occur. What happens after the wheel turns. We go into a better time because justice will be served. What's going on in his heart, okay? When he's feeling for his feminine, when he's in his heart space for his feminine, he's still in his power, man. King of pentacles, match to the queen of pentacles. He's still in his power. He's remaining, and I love that. So hopefully she understands if she's watching this, he stays in his power. He's the king of pentacles. He's the king of wands. He is all the kings, okay? He really is. And so in his heart space, he's still standing in his power. He wants union, two of cups. He wants union. So before the moon's energy, he was in his power. He still is in his power, okay? Because he's going to show up again as the king of pentacles. So before the moon, he was in his power, okay? And now where is he? He knows he wants union and he wants to come forward with an offer of a new beginning, ace of pentacles, and make that offer like the king, king of pentacles. And what happens after this defeat, this sadness, this five of swords, this fight ends. It ends. It's over. It concludes. So what happens in her heart space as she uh, is feeling for her masculine king of wands matched to the king of wands? Um, here in his overall energy for his clarifier, she's like, I know he's my match because her overall energy, she's the queen of wands, right? 
he knows. she knows that he is her match and that he always has been. her question is, is his five d blending with the three? all right so here she's like i know he's my masculine i know he's my match just like i know that he's my end game all right i want to move things forward now i want to balance out the dark and the light chariot card i want to move things forward but it feels a little stuck devil's energy i said what is stuck hierophant this contract this 5d self totally coming forward is stuck because she's in her high priestess energy and she's the empress and she's the queen of wands She's like, is he my match? And who is he? King of Wands. She's going to find out that he is. In her heart, she knows that he is, but she's got a little bit of doubt, okay? She's got a little bit of doubt. 5D, 3D blending, is it real? Can it be? Uh, but yes, it can be. He's the King of Wands here before. He's the King of Wands here after. He's the King of Pentacles here before. He's the King of Pentacles here after, Right? So we've got the King of Pentacles that matches the Queen. We have the King of Wands that matches the Queen. So they are the perfect match. And now we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. What happens to her heart space after she realizes that, yes, he's every king? These two flow out together. The end of her heartbreak, Three of Swords. And potentially also the end of his heartbreak. Because he's still heartbroken. He's still heartbroken over her Queen of Swords energy. So now what's happening in his 3D environment as related to his queen, okay? As related to his feminine. Two cards flew out before the moon. He's sad. He's looking at all the shit that went down between the two of them. And he's like, oh my God, are we going to, should I take the step towards a new beginning? He didn't really know. That's why, you know, he got guarded. He got guarded. He's like looking at the spilled milk. He wants the new beginning. So where is he now? Two of swords matches his overall energy. So we are tapped in. He is going within. He's going within so that he can move forward in success. Six of wands. Match the six of wands for her. She's like, I want to move forward. I want the justice. I want to move forward in success. And that's exactly what I said he's trying to do is he's trying to take steps in a high vibration manner. So he shows up in that high priest energy as the high priestesses match. He's every king. She's every queen. He's the emperor. She's the empress. But now is he the 5D guy too? So that's what, that's what who he is. He is that person. All right. And so before the moon, he was observing his behavior. He's like, shit, should I take a new, should I take a stab at it? Should I take the risk? So where is he now after the moon? He's gone within and matched his overall energy. He's gone within so he can take steps towards a successful connection with his feminine. He's worked hard on himself. Eight of pentacles to be six of pentacles, this equal match. All right, what happens afterwards? Queen of Wands, match here, Queen of Wands. I said, all right, give me some more energy on this. What's the Queen of Wands energy? Six of Pentacles again. And it's a match to what I already knew because I didn't really need another card. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he wants to be her perfect match. He knows that she's in the Queen of Wands energy. He knows she's fiery and independent, so he's got to match her at that. So the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Six of Pentacles. He's getting ready to give openly and receive openly so that they can come together with this Three of Cups energy, which is what he initially wanted before the moon, and so that they can manifest this Ten of Cups, which he wants, which she wants. So what was going on with her before the moon? So this is a high vibrational feminine, okay? She makes wishes on the moon. She does rituals on the moon she's every queen so she understands that the moon phases are important so what was going on with her beforehand they were engaged in this loss in this connection in a defeat okay these two flew out together five of swords and the lovers this five of swords came out somewhere 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 let me see where did i just see that this is the only problem when you pull too many cards. You can't figure out where the hell the Five of Swords came out. But anyway. Oh, Five of Swords is right here. Sorry. <laughs> five of Swords in his heart space. He calls off the fight, right? He's like, we're done with the fight. We're done with the defeat. So before the moon, yeah, they were in this kind of sadness, this loss over their connection. All right. So what's happening now? She's still our Empress. She is badass. Queen of Wands. Empress and High Priestess, how much more higher vibrational can you get? 
So now, yeah, we had this fight. We lost this connection. That's what was happening before the moon. But I stood in my power. I am the empress. There has been communication because of prior moon energies. But this is also moon cycles. There's a cycle that they're going through during these moon cycles. And so, you know, before the moon, there was this defeat, this loss of the connection. But now she's standing in her power. There's been communication. They're in a new cycle. Things have been illuminated. They're in a much better place than they were before. But again, there is still this stuck energy. Remember, because they're thinking about the past and they're healing it. And he's thinking about, you know, what has happened and he's healing it. He's delayed his communication so he can heal. He wants the four of wands and so he wants to heal. And he wants to come forward as that high vibrational match. So what is stuck, I asked. Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning is stuck at this time, which is true. So what happens after all this energy? Well, these two flow out together. Two of wands, three of cups, same for him, same for our masculine. He got the three of cups and the 10 of cups for his queen of wands. So for her, she's got this two of wands and the three of cups. He gives her the world. They come back together. There is reunion, which is what he wanted before the moon, which is what he's gonna want now after he figures out that he is all the queens, after he figures out what is the next high vibrational move. And then he's going to make a move towards her and maybe invite her out. All right. So now what is happening with the current connection today? What is their current connective energy? Bottom of the deck is the nine of cups, which is about wishes coming true. Bottom of the deck for the clarifiers for their connection, 10 of pentacles match to her. First card out for what is happening in their connection today. Ten of Pentacles. They both want each other for the long term. She has it here at the bottom of her deck. He has it here in his overall energy. And now it is there, Ten of Pentacles, for the bottom of the deck for what they wish for. And now here it is in the first card for their connection. Ten of Pentacles. They want this connection for the long haul, but they're moving slow. Knight of Coins. This connection typically rushes in, and that's why he stopped himself. He didn't rush back in. And so now they're taking slow, methodical, analytical movement towards manifestation, magician's energy. He came up as the magician here in his headspace, right? That he wants to manifest this four of wands. And so they're working towards this manifestation. So I said, what are they manifesting? Two of wands, this partnership this collaboration this that comes out in the after tarot where he gives her the world this is what they're manifesting because he's coming into his emotions so that they can complete the cycle and now transform this connection out of separation which is where they are five of pentacles came out two times in her space out of separation movement forward with the chariot card which is in her heart space Okay, they balance out the light and the dark. They transform this connection. They come out of separation. And this queen of wands, who's the queen of wands, I clarified it, gets justice, match here. And their success in this connection, match here. I mean, you can't make this up. So then what happens? Ace of wands, they're gonna have a new beginning. They're gonna have a new beginning. That is what they are both working towards at this time. So I'm going to give you future energies, and then we're going to go to the messages. Two of Wands, again, in the future, they make decisions now. So I, I, I said this, what's the decision made? Because this is future energy. What's the decision made? The lovers, they, cho they choose this connection. They choose the connection. Remember, the lovers is here. That's what he's heartbroken over. He's heartbroken over his connection. They choose the connection. The moon comes out. Remember, the moon is a dupe to her space, right? So what about the moon's energy? What came out during the moon? Well, what's going to come out during the moon? That they are a match. Then what happens? The sadness was released under the moon. The sadness, five of cups, was released under or gets further released from the moon. And now temperance, this true healing, one, two, three times. Healing leads us to two of cups union 
Oh my God, guys. So now I pulled some uh, cards for the masculine and the feminine. So I asked, universe, please give me a message for the divine masculine. This is his message. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. That's what this delay is. Archangel Michael is like, hey, accept this. Accept that this is a connection. Stop the doubt. Stop the pain. Stop the guardedness. Stop the reflection. It is time to admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. That's why we have the King of Wands as the bottom of his deck to the clarifiers. This King of Wands is healing. The King of Wands wants union. The King of Wands wanted to move towards this reunion, but he got back into his pain, into his heartbreak around this connection. But what happens? He heals it. He heals it. He figures out that she is his match. He wants reunion and he wants to build that Ten of Cups with her. That's what that is. Admit that to yourself, Divine Masculine. And it says here, the prayer, I appreciate your support and helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can loving, be lovingly honest with myself and others. Lovingly be honest with myself and others. His other message is, truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from the heaven and the astral realm. That is why he's in the Two of Swords energy, in the 3D and in his overall energy. He's getting downloads. So I asked for two tarot cards, Six of Earth, Ace of Earth. This is this new beginning. This is about reciprocity. This is about receiving. This is about giving. And this is a time of abundance and new beginnings. So trust in yourself. Trust this new judgment. Trust in this healing. Trust in this connection, Divine Masculine. So now for our feminine, her first card out, eternal love. Help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe expressing and giving love, okay? She's in this energy right now where she's like, I need that justice, gotta come forward with the justice. Things are, you know, a little stuck at this time, but she's being told. You can perceive that all of the love that surrounds you is safe, Divine Feminine. He is the 5D Masculine. The other message is karma is releasing. Move beyond the drama. Move beyond the drama of the past, okay? Create your own path and make room for good energy. And her two cards are two major arcanas. Life experience and ego. This is a significant life event, a powerful revolution that leads to change. This is the judgment card, okay? Then we have the ego. This is that devil's card, which is, she's like, is he the, is he the 5D masculine? This is like you're, you're trapping yourself unnecessarily, okay? This is based on your negative and fear-based thoughts. So your spirit is saying, release the drama. Release all that crap, Divine Feminine. And the slate is clean. Heal and the slate is clean. The message for the couple, believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear and faith and trust. He needs to trust. She needs to get rid of the fear. All right. The bottom of the deck for this is detach from unhealthy behaviors. The bottom of the deck for the keepers of the light is the sacred self. And the bottom of the deck for the tarot is the seven of air. It's like, let go of this seven of swords energy. You are both your sacred selves now. So believe and trust. Be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Focus your intention. Think about what you desire, not what you don't desire, not on your fears. Set your sights high and expect the best possible outcome. Lastly, Six of air, night of earth. These came out together. This is about moving slowly towards this connection. Things are looking up. This is the end of a difficult situation. And now it's time to honor your commitments. But do it night of earth. Remember, night of earth is a slow energy. And we've got that in here in their current energy. We want to move slowly towards this new, this new beginning that we are going to manifest. And I'm telling you, that's when those wishes come true with the Nine of Cups, all right? Let me know if this resonates, guys, but it feels really good. He's every king. He still is every king. They continue to match each other. They really do. They really, really do. And um, 
I'm just so proud, so proud of this collective. All right, the bottom of the deck for the future energies was the Wheel of Fortune, which is a match to her headspace. They're gonna go into a better cycle. They are. They're gonna go into a better cycle, a better cycle, which is this Ten of Pentacles, which is building something solid for the long term. If you wanna book your own personal reading with me, go to queenalight1111.com to see all of the different things that I love and use. Go to my storefront on Amazon and check it out, okay? And don't forget to follow me on Amazon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Links are all in the description box below. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.